Hello and welcome to my support solution YouTube channel. In this video session, we will learn about multiple account assignment in SAP purchase order. But before we start, if you have not yet subscribed to our my support solution YouTube channel, then click on the subscribe button, click on the bell icon and select all notifications to get the latest and free updates after every new video upload. If you like our video, then please click on the like button. Also share our videos. Now we we'll start our topic. So first we'll take example and then we'll do practical. Our company is ABC Limited. We have one plant 1000. This is our plant code. We have one vendor 1000. This is our vendor code. Now we want to raise or we want to create one purchase order for office supplies. Let's say for chairs, 100 pieces, 100 quantity. Okay, this is only for example. Now, uh, in our ABC Limited company, we have three departments purchase, sales, and accounts. We want to distribute these 100 pieces into these three different departments according to quantity and respectively, their cost will also be divided into these three different departments as we can observe in the below screenshot of uh, me 21 n transaction code this is our requirement 40 30 30 and this is the cost center for purchase sales and accounts likewise this is the gl for purchase sales and accounts in a single purchase order means we don't want to generate three different purchase orders for uh, 40, 30 and 30 quantity. Now we will do the practical. First step will be create purchase order with multiple account assignment. Second we will post goods receipt. Uh, then we will enter a partial vendor invoice and then last step we will check our general ledger and cost center balance. Now we will start our practical. So first step creation of a purchase order ME21N is a transaction code to create a purchase order so the details vendor code is 1000 organization data purchasing organization is 1000 now here in account assignment we will give or we will select K as a cost center. In short text, we will give office supplies for for example chairs. Okay, PO quantity 100. Order unit will be each. Net price we will give as 20. Currency. You are plant 1000 and material group group we will select 006 as office supplies. Now here we will select multiple account assignment. Change this distribution pattern as distribution on quantity basis. And we will divide this uh, or split this 100 pieces according to our uh, requirement like 40 pieces. We will select cost center for uh, purchasing department 1001. This is a cost center code which we have already created GL account. That is general ledger account 40 quantity for sales department 1002 is a cost center for sales department general ledger and last Twenty pieces 
20 quantity 1 w 3 is a cost center for accounts department and uh, 5203 is a gl for accounts department now we'll click on the check button continue save so we have create a purchase order 17247 now we will post a goods receipt against this purchase order slash n my go 17247 but uh, this group uh, this goods receipt will be non valuated that is uh, system will not generate accounting documents for this goods receipt Purchase order number, check and then we will post a document, document is ok, now we will post, post a document, material document 44005 posted. Now we will observe the document, display 44005, document info and click on the FI documents and let us see message no subsequent document found in accounting ok now we will post a uh, vendor invoice in myro transaction code slash n myro invoice date here we will give a purchase order number 247 now our vendor has given the invoice let us say for uh, 100 pieces instead of 100 quantity although our plant persons has received uh, 100 quantity ok click on multiple account assignment here we will change total quantity to 50 and amount 1000 so we can observe the quantity and amount check and back now amount 1000 ok we will click on the calculate tax one one six zero click on simulate button you can observe this entry consumable supplies purchasing department gl sales department accounts department debit input tax debit to vendor this is this will be the entry and this will be the <coughs> and these are the respective general ledgers ok we will post a document document number is created now our last step we will check the balances of general ledgers and uh, cost center we will check general ledger balances of three general ledgers fbl3n we will use a transaction code to check gl balances We can also use FS10N. So mention GL accounts 405200 or click on the multiple selection. Four zero five two zero two and four zero five two zero three. Execute.
posting date that is today's date execute now these are the general ledgers 5200 5202 and 5203 respectively and this is a uh, entry which we have posted just now okay 200 double click on this and we can observe the entry also document overview so this is a document which we have checked in Miro transaction also okay we will check our cost center balance slash n or oh, actually I will add this transaction into my favorites let us slash new session so this is the transaction code for plan an actual comparison for cost center for current period we will check for current period we have three cost centers for office consumable purchase sales and accounts controlling area fiscal year posting period okay or values our values cost center values is 1001 to 1003 execute so this is the total balance actual for period first if you double click on this we will get uh, details cost centers actual line item double click so this is the data for cost element 5203 cost center 1003 office consumables 3 that is uh, accounts department so this is our entry which we have posted just now okay okay so this is a document which we have posted in Miro so that's all for now in this video session we are very much thankful that you have watched our video and uh, I, I request you to subscribe to our my support solutions YouTube channel and uh, like and share our videos again thanks for watching keep in touch and bye bye